Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another video. I want to speak on something. <clears throat> I live in Georgia now, but for several years I lived in Florida when my kids were young. Every single year that I lived in Florida, they got hit with a hurricane. The very first year that I moved there, shortly before the hurricane hit, I was involved in a car accident. And so I didn't have a vehicle at the time. I had a place to stay, didn't have a vehicle though. Um, I remember having to be evacuated from my home. We had to go into a school with other families. And I remember sitting there with my children thinking, I got two pampers. What the heck do I do? if I get to the point that my baby uses these Pampers. Now they did have things like that in the uh, evacuation point, which was a school building, but it was just the point of that. It was just the point of where I was in that situation. Now, I say all of that to say this. Peach put a post up earlier today and she was saying something about, um, should I have evacuated? A hurricane is imminent, should I have evacuated? Now, they have been talking like crazy about this hurricane hitting dead for Tampa. The, it's, Tampa is in the direct path of this hurricane. And as much as they are talking about it, I'm sure it's a pretty aggressive hurricane, like tearing some crap up. Um, I remember seeing her on live uh, about three or four days ago and she mentioned the hurricane because somebody in the casino said something about the hurricane and she was like um i ain't gonna believe it i don't think it's really gonna hit us whatever whatever right i don't know her exact words but she did say that so then fast forward to today now she's been living her best life all weekend doing her thing here and there and everywhere um you know going with the children, hanging with the hubby and all of these things. But up until today, she hadn't mentioned the hurricane again, except for last night when she mentioned that the schools was out. So today her excuse was, I don't watch the news, I don't watch TV, so I didn't really know what all was going on. But like I told you, they mentioned the hurricane when she was there in the casino. And she could have easily Googled. And plus, it's all over doggone YouTube because I've seen it countless times. And I'm in Georgia. I'm nowhere near, you know, the line of fire for the hurricane. For her to say, should I have moved? For her to even be sitting here acting like she has an excuse not to know something, that's piss poor judgment to me. Even more so because she is very vocal about the money that she is making. She's very vocal about the fact that she's made a million dollars in a seven month period this year. So she could have very easily taken her family out of the line of fire of this hurricane. She could have put some of her kids in her car. Her husband could have put some in his truck and they could have rolled out. Because I know she has six kids, so they may not have all fit in her car. What is wrong with people? I mean, and, and to sit here and try to, you know, because I do speak. I've spoken on her before, and I've spoken about how intelligent she speaks, how well articulated, how professional I think she is. But, I mean, so many people have so many negative things to say, and this is why. Why would you sit there and leave your kids somewhere where they could have been safe? I remember in uh, 2021 or 2020, one of the two, a hurricane was headed toward um, New Orleans. Uh, Super got a, she chartered a bus. It was some kind of, uh, it wasn't like a, a, a it wasn't like a, a you know, one of those um, buses that schools use. It was like a bus that uh, is used for special occasions. Let me just say that because I, I can't get my thoughts together. on But she chartered a bus 
uh, a party bus like thing. She loaded all her friends and family up and she drove them from New Orleans to Orlando and they spent several days in Orlando away from the freaking hurricane. You a big bag in a big bank. Why on earth would you be so foolish to leave your kids in harm's way? Because once that hurricane hits that area, and even now it still may, it may be too late at this point to leave. But if you stay, you're in your house, whether you prepared or not, once that hurricane hits that house, it's a done deal. Like at that point, you can do absolutely nothing for your children when you have the ability to do everything. Why would you be so foolish? Like that makes absolutely no sense. There are so many mothers right there in Tampa that probably would like to remove their children from harm's way. That's all they're thinking about, but they don't have a car. They don't have a dollar. They don't have nothing. But they love their children enough that they would put their lives on the line for them. But yet here you are with everything you know big bag and big bank which you know you know you the big stuff so why would you not think of your children like even if you didn't want to leave the city you could have had your kids and their nanny safely flown somewhere else i mean you could it's just so many things if you have unlimited funds that you could do and i just think that it is awful that you did nothing i think that is absolutely awful I think that I ooh, I just don't know what to say. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Because I, I I'm just speechless at this young lady. And then she got a, a husband too. He ain't think about that. Well she don't talk much, but that don't mean nothing. I mean I, I just don't know, y'all. Tell me what y'all think below. My dog on head scarf is coming off my head. That's why I ain't moving too much. Because if I do one good swoop, baby, that bad boy might be gone. I just don't get it. I don't. Tell me what y'all think below. Let's, let's discuss this below. I just think that was horribly irresponsible. And I did post that comment. That is so irresponsible of you. Because she could have she could have easily took her kids anywhere. And just got them out of the way. Had a little vacation with her and the baby. She could have took the little nanny on with her. And her and her hubby, could, they could have went to Vegas. And her and her husband could have did their thing. They could have had another hotel room for the nanny and the children. And had a good old spanking time. Just crazy. I don't get it. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think below. See y'all in the next video.